Greetings! My lecture today is Tina Turner versus Mukai Shonen. Now, most of you know that Tina Turner is the most noted Buddhist on planet Earth. Now, many of you do not know who Mukai Shonen is, but let's tell you a little bit about Mukai Shonen. Now, on August of 2010, CNN News did a story on Mukai Shonen. And if you go on the website or you Google the word Mukai Shonen CNN News, you're going to get a news story from CNN News that they did on her and the Black in America series. Now, it says, the editor note says, quote, Buddhist McKay Barrett, M McKay Kane Barrett is the first woman of African Japanese descent and the only Western woman to be ordained as priest in the Nitrin order. She is the residence priest and guiding teacher for the Mo Kenji Temple, home of the Buddhist Sangha of Texas. She talks about her journey to Buddhism and the Black Pulpit, weekly series that explores faith and the Black community. Now, you can see that she represents herself as faith and the Black community. When many women in the black community look at Tina Turner, the Buddhist, many can relate to Tina Turner. In fact, many women have either joined the Buddhist faith or have a positive view of Buddhism thanks to Tina Turner. Mukhe Shonen is not just a Buddhist. Mukhe Shonen is a bona fide, certified Nitran Shu Buddhist priest. Tina Turner is a bona fide, certified black Buddhist. It is known by many that Tina Turner is a practicing Buddhist. The one thing that you would not find in the current life of Tina Turner is her having any association with any of the Japanese or Asian Buddhist sects. Imagine, ladies and gentlemen, why is it that the most noted Buddhist in the world, Tina Turner, does not have any association any longer with any of the Buddhist sects or organizations in the world? On Friday, December the 5th, 2014, after sending Mokei Shonen an emails for one year, because I sent her emails for one year, um, I sent her an email showing that Tina Turner is not associated with any of the Japanese Buddhist sects. And boy, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> Mukai Shonen responded back to me and she says that I should take her off my email list, you know, who I would send. Now, while this lecture is called Tina Turner vs. Mukai Shonen, this lecture is The Lotus Sutra vs. Japanese Racism. There are only just players in the game. Please look at the picture of Tina Turner and Mukai Shonen. Tina Turner represents the Lotus Sutra and Mukai Shonen represents Buddhism. What you have in the world are those who practice Buddhism and those who practice the Lotus Sutra. Now, there is a big difference between those who practice the Lotus Sutra and those who practice Buddhism. In the Go Show of the words of Nichiren Shonen, the Go Show are the teachings of the 13th century Japanese sage Nichiren Shonen. Nietzsche explains the differences between Buddhism and the Lotus Sutra. Now, the Lotus Sutra, there's a Gosho called the Gift of Rights. And it reads, quote, The truth had 
lies in the affairs of this world. The Golden Light Sutra states, quote, to have a profound knowledge of this world is itself Buddhism. Unquote. The Nirvana Sutra states, quote, all of the non-Buddhist scriptures and writings in society are themselves Buddhist teachings and not non-Buddhist teachings. When the great teacher Milo compared these passages with the one from the sixth volume of the Lotus Sutra that reads, quote, no worldly affairs of life or work are ever contrary to the true reality. He revealed their meanings and pointed out that although the first two sutras are profound, since their meanings is still shallow and fails to approach that of the Lotus Sutra, they relate to secular matters in terms of Buddhism, whereas the Lotus Sutra explains that in the end, secular matters are the entirety of Buddhism. Now, let me explain in common sense terms. Just because someone has a bald head and puts on a robe and calls themselves a Buddhist priest makes them know and understand the Lotus Sutra. Many Buddhists are expert and understand Buddhism, but they do not understand, or that necessarily doesn't mean that they understand the Lotus Sutra. The Lotus Sutra, ladies and gentlemen, is the highest of the Buddhist teachings. See, you can be a common expert in Buddhism, but not an expert in the Lotus Sutra. We at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association practice the teachings of the Lotus Sutra and not necessarily practice of Buddhism. Now, the first thing I want you to do, I want you to watch the video that I sent Mokay Shonen and posted on YouTube in regards to why Tina Turner does not associate with Japanese Buddhist sects. Let's look at the video and come back and put a period on this lecture. Tina Turner started out as a Nichiren Shoshu Buddhist in 1974. In her book, Atina, she mentions Nichiren Shoshu in the 1990s um, during a Larry King interview, she mentions President Ikeda. In the 1990s, a fight broke out for the battle of supremacy between the SGI and Nichiren Shoshu that exists to this day. These people talk about world peace and yet they are the worst examples of world peace that anybody could actually encounter. In 1985, Tina Turner toured Japan via her private dancer tour. In 1988, Tina toured Japan via her Break Every Rule tour. One thing that you will find absent from Tina Turner is her taking a photograph with SGI leader Daisaku Ikeda. Tina Turner is well read and she has PR people around her that's wise enough to steer her in a direction unlike regular unsuspected Nichiren Shoshu or SGI Buddhists, they steered her not to be able to take a picture and associate with this man because this is bad news for Buddhists and for Tina to associate or get endorsed by this man. She would be in essence delivering unsuspecting people to the SGI Buddhist organization and Tina made sure that she didn't do that by knocking it, not taking a picture with Daisaki Kato. Why it is clear that Tina Turner was once a Nichiren Buddhist, please understand that Tina Turner auspiciously not associated with any of the Japanese Buddhist organizations. Please look at the picture of Tina Turner at her home in the February 1979 issue of Jet Magazine. 
Please notice one thing about Tina Turner. Look at the books on the shelf. Tina Turner reads and Tina Turner studies. Tina Turner is not just some lamb who's just going to sit back and listen to anything anybody says. She is well read and she studies. No self-respecting Buddhist who has learned in world travel will remain a member of the Nichiren Buddhist sects in Japan. No, no self-respecting black person is going to do this who is well learned, who understands. Tina Turner traveled to India where she purchased a Buddha statue. Tina Turner sent a message that while she chants, she is not a member of Nichiren Shoshu or the SGI in regards to the fact that she is a Buddhist. Tina is a Buddhist. Tina makes it clear that she respects Shakyamuni Buddha as the Buddha. Look at this picture of Tina Turner with a Buddha stature. She is not there with some Japanese talking about Nichiren Shonen. Is the Japanese Buddha? Is the true Buddha? Tina knows better. Tina met the Dalai Lama. She had the power and she has the power to meet any Buddhist leader in the world. Tina Turner has no formal association with the SGI or any Japanese Buddhist organizations. Tina Turner was once associated with both Nichiren Shoshu and the SGI Buddhist sects like us at, Proud, at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. Tina moved forward in 2013 Tina Turner got married. Why Tina is a dedicated Buddhist and would have loved to have had a Buddhist wedding, Tina chose not to have a Buddhist wedding and that the Buddhists and the Buddhist traditions are not commensurate to a world cultural integration that would bring Buddhism into a 21st century paradigm. If Tina Turner had allowed any Buddhist set to perform her ceremony, there will be tantamount to her endorsing a Buddhist set. It is clear that Tina Turner, like us at the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, have an issue with the current dominated Buddhist climate in the world. Now, the Lord of Sutra explains that in the end, secular matters are the entirety of Buddhism. From what we read about Mukai Shonen, she used to have long and flowing hair. The idea of cutting one's hair is a Buddhist practice, but not the Lotus Sutra. The Lotus Sutra deals with the law of cause and effect in the 3,000 worlds and a momentary state of existence. I will not go into the depths at this time, but I can say this. One of the worst things that you could do to a black woman in America is to tell her to cut her hair off. Unless you're going through chemotherapy and you got cancer and got a bald head, sisters in America don't give a damn about you cutting their hair off or messing with the hair. The one thing you don't do is mess with the hair of a black woman. Now, the word Buddha means wisdom. Apparently, Mukai Shonen did not see the Tina Turner movie. Tina Turner messed up her up in the movie, I, Tina, and before her hair got messed up, they went and got some wigs. And boy, them girls came out with wigs and they were scared what Ike was going to do. And Ike said, boy, I love it. Now, ever since Tina Turner and them girls put on them wigs, Black women in America have been wearing wigs ever since, and Tina Turner was the one who set a trend. Now, there is no woman on planet Earth that has more diverse hairstyles than black women. I tell you what, I defy you to look at soul singer Patty the Bell. Patty the Bell boy got more hairstyles than you can imagine. True Buddhism equals our everyday life. In our everyday lives, most women have hair. 
Now, the idea of having or not having hair is a bunch of bull. This is not the Lotus Sutra. This is Buddhist practices, but a Buddhist practice is not necessarily the practice of the Lotus Sutra. Now, one of the things I want you to do, I want you to look at this priest, Michael McCormick. Now, he's a Nitrin shoe Buddhist priest. This white boy didn't cut his hair off. If you look at the pictures of the Buddha, and I want you to look at the pictures of the Buddha, the Buddha had locks. The Buddha did not cut his hair off. Now, it is just a Buddhist practice, but it is not the practice of the Sutra. Now, this is the point. Tina Turner made or uh, tells us about Buddhism. Tina says, the hell with Japanese culture. She says, by her life, I do not need some priest telling me how to pray or how to be a Buddhist. Tina Turner took on and she calls herself a Baptist Buddhist. And she went and recorded the song Amazing Grace because it is the Lotus Sutra that teaches us that Buddhism is inclusive of our everyday life and lives. But on the other hand, in the Newton Shoe Organization, they have extricated all of the black history, all of the black culture, from all of the black language, anything that has to do with black, they have extricated it. And Mukai Shonen does not say a word or she supports this Japanese culture. This is why to her, it's a sacrifice to practice Buddhism and cut her hair. But with her cutting her hair, she is promoting Japanese culture. Tina Turner rejected all of the racism and Japanese Buddhism and what is called cultural imperialism. The bald head and Japanese domination is Japanese imperialism. I want you to look at the picture of Mokei Shonen here and the man next to her, that's a Reverend Runin Sorison. Google the word Nitrin Shu Racist Priest. I was teaching my son about black Buddhist history on the Gohansan and this guy challenged us. He challenged the fact that the first Shogun of Japan was black. He challenged the, the, the way that we explained that Early Japanese history was inclusive of black culture and history. He is of the Nitrin Shu school where they teach or where they don't teach the true inclusion of black history like the largest bronze and gold Buddha statue in the world at the ancient capital of Nara. In the Nitrin Shu, the Nitrin Shoshu, in, in the SGI Buddhist organizations, they practice Hindu Buddhism and they extricate all black history from Buddhism. The Nichiren Shu set like the SGI, Nichiren Shoshu, and Nichiren Shu, they all take black history away. Mukai Shonen gets on CNN as a black in America, however, she does not represent equality of black inclusion. She has a black face but a Japanese mind. The black community embraced Tina Turner and they would embrace the Lotus Sutra as Tina Turner promotes. You have two strong Buddhists, Tina Turner and Mukai Shonen. I'm going to call it a day at this lecture. I found myself a brand new mission to help others make a big decision. I bring to you a new smart religion. It's not the religion that you expect. It's all about the laws, the cause and effect. The devotion to the mystery laws and call and effect teaching. We do a lot of wisdom preaching. No more life with any drama. We chant the words. Oh, I found myself a brand new mission to help others make a big decision. We bring to you a smart religion. It's not the religion.
religion that gives back It's all about the law, the cause and effect The vultures in the middle of the call of teaching We do a lot of wisdom preaching No more life with any drama We change the words and change our karma We bring to you the new root of way We bring to you the new way to pray After long prayers, a lot of meditation I bring to you the rudest conversation We can change our human relation We bring to you the culture and duration It's about peace and love and change the situation This channel and Buddhism makes a lot of sense It's about self-development and enlightenment man. I made the decision to join the Buddha way I joined the Buddha said go ahead and say Buddha's new to America and like a tree What the words of the China and men Function to the middle of the call of education A different learning from a Christian preacher Buddha's religion makes a lot of sense Something to fill up with a light and